the three times champion with a two and a half year prison sentence. Boris Becker is one of the most famous names in sports tennis. He moved with speed on court and has a glittering professional history, but what now? Did he become an inmate? We understand that by now you must have gotten curious about how the man got into the jail and what was his crime. So hold your horses. We are going to tell you the downfall of Boris Becker, from tennis star to inmate. Boris Franz Becker was born on November 22, 1967. He was born in West Germany. Becker started playing tennis at the age of eight years at the tennis center in Lehman, which was founded by his father, Karl Heinz, an architect. By the age of 12, he began concentrating wholly on tennis. Boris received his secondary education at Helmholtz Gymnasium in Heidelberg. His passion for tennis made him drop out of school in the 10th grade, and rather was schooled in the West German Tennis Federation, where his principal coach was a Romanian-born German, Gunther Bosch. Boris became the youngest champion in the history of the men's singles at Wimbledon when he was just 17 years old. With his victory, he became the only player from Germany who has ever won the title. Impressively, he also became the youngest person ever to win any Grand Slam title in men's singles. He had an amazing start in his journey as Becker entered international tennis at the age of 17 at three Wimbledon championships in 1985. With his powerful serves and his all-time wildly attacking style, he overpowered his opponents. He reached the finals where he defeated the player Kevin Curran in just four sets. There, his journey was only beginning as he won Wimbledon again in 1986 and 1989 and also he became the finalist in 1988, 1990, 1991 and 1995. Wow, he sure sounds like a tennis star. He also won the Australian Open twice in the years 1991 and 1996 and he won the US Open in 1989. Boris has a history of back-to-back -back victories. In international tennis, Boris became a member of West Germany's and then Germany's Davis Cup squads from 1985 to 1999. He was an amazing team member as he succeeded in helping his team to victories in 1988 and 1989. Then in 1997, he served as the team's manager where he was also great at bringing the victory home. He has also won an Olympic gold medal in men's doubles in 1992 at the Barcelona Games. Sadly, the star player, Becker retired from competitive tennis in the year 1999. He has a shocking number of achievements during his career with back-to-back -back victories, winning 49 singles and 15 doubles titles. The hard-earned achievements from his early age paid him well as he became a role model for all the young tennis players now. Not just on the court, but the man tried his luck at various other places as he joined various business ventures. Becker also worked as a TV commentator from 2013 to 2016. He coached the amazing tennis player Novak Djokovic, who won six Grand Slam titles during that time. However, his life summary had a saddening twist as he faced various legal problems, which we will discuss in this video. But before that, let's jump into his married life. Marriage is always a life-changing stage of everybody's life. To some, it brings happiness, joy, and love. But to others, it may bring sadness, stress, and hatred. Boris was in a relationship with a few ladies before his marriage, which included a relationship with Karen Schultz and then with Cassandra Hepburn. After that, he began dating the gorgeous Barbara Feltis, and they got married on 17 December 1993, when Barbara was eight months pregnant. The couple married at the registry office of a German guy's hometown, Lehman. They were blessed to have two children, Noah Gabriel and Elias Balthazar. But an end was approaching their beautiful relationship as Becker asked Barbara for separation in December 2000. Barbara was contacted by a woman claiming to be pregnant with Becker's child, after which she went to Miami with kids, Noah and Elias, where she filed a divorce petition in Miami court. This divorce cost Becker a 2.5 million payoffs to his wife as a settlement. The cheating point was also cleared by Becker himself as he stated in his autobiography that he admitted to his wife that he had a one-night stand. This is an upsetting fact about the tennis star, which left his fans heartbroken. The couple's life was popular and so was their divorce as the pre-trial hearing in January 2001 was broadcast live to Germany. The tennis player was spoiled as the facts revealed about him were truly upsetting. He had a relationship with a Russian waitress, Angela Ermakova. It was revealed by the media reports that he had a child with her as a result of a sexual encounter in 1999. At first, Becker denied it and said that he only had oral sex with Ermakova. His lawyers supported him by claiming that the waitress had stolen his sperm and used it to inseminate herself after the encounter. After long trials in the courtroom, Becker accepted fatherhood. A DNA test also confirmed that he was the father. He also had a few other relationships after that. 
Becker was engaged to Alessandra Meyer Wolden in 2008 for a short period of time, but the couple broke up in November 2008. Then the next year, in February, Becker announced on the German TV show that he and Dutch model Charlie Lily Kersenberg are going to get married. The wedding took place on 12 June 2009 in St. Moritz, Switzerland. Again, a heartbreaking plot in Boris's life, as in May 2018, Lily and Becker announced that they are going to get separated after nine years of marriage. Becker has a list of long relationships and heartbreaking breakups. Tennis star turned inmate. Why? How? Becker has a wonderful career which every player dreams to have, and he has a dark history of marriages and relationships which nobody would ever wish to have. But this isn't all. Becker has a darker part of his life ahead where his actions took him to the jail. The former tennis champion Boris Becker was sentenced to two and a half years in prison on charges relating to his 2017 declaration of bankruptcy. The Court of London found that Mr. Becker was guilty of transferring large amounts of money illicitly and hiding assets after he falsely declared bankrupt. Briefly speaking, Mr. Becker was convicted earlier on four charges of the UK Insolvency Act and had to face a maximum of seven years in prison. Later, the international tennis star was struck with 20 charges, including nine counts of failing to hand over the trophies and medals he won during his career. From our point of view, handing over lifetime achievement is actually an impossible thing, but the order of the court is an order that should be followed by heart. What exactly happened in 2017? In 2017, Mr. Becker was declared bankrupt over debt that had been outstanding since 2015. After this, Becker's lawyers had asked the court for a 28-day adjournment in the hopes that remortgaging properties in Spain would help them pay off the debt. The plea was rejected by the court registrar. What are the new findings related to bankruptcy? Becker's dark life doesn't conclude with this. He also had new findings. He was found transferring hundreds of thousands of pounds from his business account to other accounts. Sadly, Mr. Becker was convicted of hiding his property in Germany and he failed to declare $866,500 of debt and shares. He stated he had approximately $50 million as savings from his career, which were diminished by a costly divorce from his first wife, child maintenance payments, and his luxurious lifestyle commitments. The former tennis player was also found guilty for attempting tax evasion. The mancher has a list of numerous crimes after a wonderful tennis career. This was all about the dark life of Becker that brought him to jail from. If you know any other ugly facts about the tennis star, then please share them with us in the comments below. Also, do not forget to share this video with your friends and family. As you have come so far with us, why don't you hit that like button? Please subscribe to our channel for more such amazing content and do hit the notification bell so that you do not miss any of such amazing videos. We will meet you in another video with some really cool content. Till then, take care.